Okay, so hi, this is Paul Huckham here. And um, one of the things I've been wanting to do for a little while has been to create a video on uh, the difference between mindfulness and self-inquiry. Because both of them have a, a sort of a meditative quality. And some people may think they are the same thing, but they're, they're not the same thing. They're, they have quite a few differences. And uh, so let me just go through um, go through them both so mindfulness is much more about becoming conscious about um, what is happening in, inside you you know what is going on with the five senses what you're feeling what you're sensing um, what you're conscious of what you're aware of <clears throat> particularly um, aspects of the body and to, to really um, become refined in that. So, you know, there's a, there's a real kind of subtlety of awareness inside you where you just say, you just become very conscious about, okay, what you're feeling, what you're thinking, what you're aware of. And this very much helps um, you become more conscious. And it helps bring the, the the consciousness into a much more refined state and a much more state of, uh, of stillness and of um, sort of being absorbed in a kind of just a kind of uh, resting inside yourself. And what is the difference between mindfulness and self inquiry is it does, self inquiry doesn't stop there. So self-inquiry begins by finding this still ground inside us and just you know letting everything come into a kind of still resting ground then from this still resting ground we begin to ask the question who or what am I when I say I what am I referring to or to put it another way around, what is it that is perceiving all of these movements? From the most gross movement to the most subtle movement. What is it that knows all of these things? And what will usually happen is the first thing that will come is, well, that's me. You know, that, that, that is me. I'm, I am seeing all of these things. They're all happening inside of me. But we have to look a bit deeper than that. We have to actually look and see, well, what is this sense of me? When we look for this sense of me or this sense of I, what is it? And as we begin to look into that, you know, deep, more deeply than just the kind of mental images about that or ideas about that, we begin to kind of look inside ourselves to see, okay, what is our center, what is our core? You know, is it an energy? Is it a feeling? Is it a thought? It is, a, is it a kind of subtle vibration? What is it at the very core of ourself? Now, as we look inside ourself, what do we find? And some may say, well, it's like, a, it's like an energy in me. Or it's like a, just this really subtle feeling. Or it's this stillness. Or people may say many different things. But whatever it is that is sensed to be at the core of ourself, we must then see, is that phenomenal or non-phenomenal? Meaning, does that have something about it? Does it have a certain flavor, a certain taste, a certain vibration? And if it does, there must be something else that is seeing that. There must be something else that is seeing, well, this is just like a, a subtle vibration in me. Then I might ask you, well, what perceives that? What knows that? And as you follow this inquiry inwards, 
wherever it comes to inside you, if that place has form, however subtle that is, then there must be something else seeing that. And this really brings about a very um, profound awakening into the realization that there must be something here at the core which is formless. It is just here by itself. And it doesn't require us to do anything other than acknowledge its presence and become conscious that it is, it is just here by itself. And to begin to give that introspection some time and some energy so our sense of self shifts from believing we are this thing to recognizing that this thing is being witnessed by a, a no thing yet that no thing is at the very core of ourself and actually it is realizing this no thing to be ourself actually gives us full permission for our humanness to really just be as it is you know we don't have to be perfectly spiritual all the time we don't have to always be meditating we don't have to always be you know eating the right foods or doing the right yoga or singing the right bhajans we don't need to do that if that comes out of us that is okay but we don't need that what we need to to know is who and what we are at our core and when we know who and what we are at our core then our human expression can just be as it is and this is such a great relief such a great freedom such a great discovery in fact for me it's the greatest discovery of all because it liberates us from what we thought we were and it delivers us into a place of natural simplicity and freedom. So I hope this video um, helps you in your spiritual path and um, thank you for listening.